Hey there, this is my third tutorial in the series of SQL tutorials and today we will be uh, doing dropping a database, putting the database in single user mode and we will talk a little bit about the .ldf and .mdf files. There is something I skipped in the last tutorial so just to let you know. Uh, if you don't know what .ldf and .mdf files are, please I assume you haven't watched the last tutorial and please get back to the last tutorial to uh, know about it. Okay, so I mentioned about it in the last year, but I didn't tell you where these files are located. So to find these files, I right click on any of the databases because the data, uh, LDF file and MDF files for all these databases are located at the same place. So I go to, go to properties, click on files, scroll right. I have this path here. It won't allow you to use the right click, mouse right click. So just use control C command to copy this path click on ok do win or control v ok it didn't get copied I'll need to do the same thing again files scroll right copy and it and I hope it gets copied this time control v press enter and here we are where we have all the ldf and mdf files for all our databases so now you know where these files are located moving on to dropping a database so right now the data, database in users file to database using multi segments and let's try to delete the, this one using the query drop database new one and execute and the command com completed successfully but in but in case there was this new one in use at the moment I was trying to drop the database it would have given me the error ok let's try to know which error is it uh, let's try to delete this time using graphically refresh now the database in uses uh, this one using multi segment VMD and if I try to delete it graphically press ok executing and it will give me an error this time don't make us wait for so long for the error at least it's still executing why the hell is it taking so long ok I got this error as expected file to database cannot drop because it's currently in use and in that case you can just check this option and press ok and this time it will get deleted but what if there were multiple users using the same database at the same time and executing some queries at that particular time point of time when you are trying to drop that database so in that case you will need to set database in single user mode I won't execute that query for now because there are no multiple users connecting to the database but in that case I'll just let you know what the query is which we need to execute alter database database name let's try to delete trying trying set single user with rollback immediate so what roll rollback immediate is uh, in case there were multiple users and trying to execute some query there was some processing going on for the same database and you tried to delete it, it uh, the rollback immediate option will get the database in the exactly in the initial position and it will roll back all the incomplete incomplete queries so this is the query which you need to use to put your database in single user mode and that's all for today if you like the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you